Hello and welcome to Geek Play Studio Tutorials. In this tutorial we're going to create a um, mountain lake or just any lake you can create it. idea of this exercise is to understand how we can better control a masking for the materials and work more with the surfaces and creating specific mask inside the world machine. Yeah. So we'll begin with basic stuff. We have our advanced Perlin and we have our high output. First, what I'm going to do it is creating uh, some lakes around or just terrain. So we'll go open our terrain advanced so I'm going to just set up a little bit smaller um, will it leave as default maybe not just let's for now pop up a little bit higher again we can change this at any times and leave it just stepness all same things next what I want to do it is going inside our layout right here and I want actually create a lake so let me go ahead and slightly expand you can change rotate um, it's actually not that important I just want a little bit bigger to cover so we can see it okay we'll go to create new layout create circle and this is just overall will be our mountain we're creating inside okay we'll select just very rough shape it's not not just general mapping will maybe change schedule um, after okay so right here we have our first layout okay and we can of course connect this to the mask so you can see we have our Perlin kind of apply structure the next I want to have it inside create lake so for this one we'll go create another layout okay, same circle just maybe a little bit inside and notice I create slightly smaller we can readjust just create whatever um, how you like to uh, think your lake maybe shape you can readjust otherwise but this again just basic the one thing what I want to do I want invert values on this because I want this going a little bit down so right here We have it our lake and we actually have it our mountain and next I want to use it combine them okay we'll go to select our combiner and connect them together okay let's go inside the combiner set to the minimum and you can see how it's changed and just all the way and just very simple basic shape and we can use it this inside our Perlin so right here we create kind of like almost don't but this is inside it's what I want to use it as a lake okay if you want it you can add any time go and change shape reposition whatever you like to do with this okay here's my um, first shape the one thing what I want to do also till we here let's add uh, some roughness maybe some rocks around this area and for that actually I want to do can use it Vernai noise making so we'll go to open and I'll take the scale and I'll go all the way down to 50 I'll just leave it as default you know you can play a little bit with a shape when you look closer maybe apply some distortions but this is will be basic um, to create the next what I want to do it is Utilite will go inside our filters and we're going to use simple transform the simple transform would allowed us to modify and adjust some of the settings so let's go ahead and open or actually what we do let's go preview right here so we can see what is we'll do and we open simple transform Okay, couple things what I want to do I want them smooth I don't want that spiky and I want to actually flatten a little bit so I will take plateau bring it down take the cubic and kind of bring it slightly up because I want don't be too low and I will take this smoothness filter and creation 
go all the way and intensify it by two. But you can see right here we have it kind of oh, these low rocks. Uh, don't worry about the side high peaks because we'll go to work on them. But right there, you see how like almost the rocks move going. This is what I needed. Okay, to control these ones, we just take one output, put two Veronis. So in this case, we isolated those Veronai things. If you preview right now, you can see with masking, we kind of keep them on a the middle. Okay. And, you know, to make it more interesting, let's go ahead and create another Perlin. And I just control C, copy, paste. So add it, and we'll go create Perlin. Let's go to the high field, add to the shape. It's kind of will affecting a little bit. I can go open and modify some properties. So let's pop up scale. Um, we'll just leave it rigid. This as default elevation, you know, maybe just bring slightly down as well as pop up stepness. You can see right here in the middle, it's where I want those rocks, where we have it. Um, as well, we can take from our lake and apply to the masking. So what this does right here in the middle, okay, let me go without masking. You notice we have a high kind of point, but I want to keep our lake lower on the middle. So by taking our position for the lake and masking, we removing this area to making a little bit more available. So right now we have it a nice perlin with these rocks. We can click preview. You can see how we have this noise added to just that specific area. It's where I want them apply. Again, we'll do some probably other effects. So we'll smooth out adjustment, but overall it's kind of will help us create nice look. Okay, the next what I want to do is combine this together. And we, of course, will go to use combiner for this. Okay. We'll take connect both of them. Okay. The next what I want to do it is also just preserve in case this combiner mask. But before we do this, let me go inside, modify, and I'll show you what's happening. So right here you can see we have, and we add all the way add. You can see we even have it mask, but it still have it some problem. So by creating add additional mask to this, we can preserve better shape right here when we even add. So overall, let's preview right now. And you can see we have it a nice rocks kind of like going on the side. So on this mountains right here, it's add nice effect. Let's move them out. And I'm going to smooth them by using um, erosion. We'll go to natural filters, go select erosion, add it, and let's connect to this point. Okay, right now we're going to add some modification. So I won't use a channel erosion. It will create just a little bit nicer, more deeper cut in. Uh, let's pop up a little bit, and I want stronger effects. So I will pop up that one. We'll add maybe some hardness. And a segment, let's pop up that one as well. Okay, we'll enable geological time enhancement so it's overall will create a little bit heavier impact. Okay, and you know what? Maybe even higher. So let's click OK. And we can preview this. You can see with this single rock still. So erosion smooth them out, but we still have this kind of nice effect on those rocks popping up. What I want to do right here, I want to add a lake right on the middle of this area with the water and texturing. So we can kind of create this. So, but before we start doing this, let's go create overall, add some colors to our filter. And we have a high field, we have a flow map, wear map, and deposit. So to do this, I want to actually combine with colors and creating and we're going to use a simple by utilizing Perlin noise and creating uh, colorizers and apply them to overlay. So let's work on the start color 
our terrain and next set of tutorials.